Today we're in bright, sunny Big Bear, California, as we're on John Bull, getting ready to go through the gatekeeper. It's going to be an amazing day. Great weather for it. Couldn't ask for a better scenery. So follow along. This is Jeeping Mo. Just like most of the trails that I've seen out there so far, they all have some kind of gatekeeper. So this is the gatekeeper for John Bull, as these guys walk right through this. These guys wheel up here all the time, so they make this look real easy. Some of these rocks are quite large. The camera does an amazing job of making the trail look a lot more timid than it really is. The bill here is on 37s and he rolls right through it, but it takes a lot of work. And that rock is very slippery, as we'll see as we go through this. It's like a sandy dirt. And on that rock, it's hard to gain traction. So you'll see as the people go through here, they slide off these rocks real easy. We couldn't ask for a more amazing weekend. It was Easter weekend. It was beautiful weather. We had blue skies through the whole, whole trip. And the trail was in good shape. There really wasn't many people on it. So we really had it all to ourselves. So with the group we had, I really couldn't ask for a better weekend out. Mike does a good job with this little two-door here. It's a manual, so he has to work a little bit harder. And I know what it's like inside that cab. You had hands and feet going everywhere, but he gets over the obstacles. He does a really good job at it. I know, it's hard. Okay, come forward. Come on up. You're the boss of the steering wheel. And you guys have PSD, so okay. it makes life a lot easier. Come up a little bit. Hold it right there. Okay, All let right. me pull forward. You gotta move. Yeah. This view gives you a little better idea how steep of a grade this is. Some of the other areas you really can't tell. It almost looks like it's flat. But keep in mind as we're going through these that we're these guys are climbing up and over rocks on a pretty steep grade with that sandy dirt with very little traction. So at times the camera makes it look real easy, but it's a lot steeper than it really looks. As you'll see through the video, Don's rig here is very capable. It started out as a GL Sport, but it's anything but stock anymore. Those uh, curry axles and all the other things that he's done to this, you'll see as it goes through how capable this rig really is. You'll see as we climb up the mountain here, we go from obstacle to obstacle, but there's plenty of rocks and boulders and things to climb over on the way up there. They had gotten some snow a few weeks back, so there's a little bit still on the trail, really not where you're driving, but it makes for great scenery. And you can see here how blue that sky is. It was really a great day.
but there's no lack of big rock to climb over as you get up here so up here I get out and go to take some shots and I realized real quick I don't live at 8,000 feet so I was huffing and puffing a little bit and you can see Wendy here she does a great job spotting as she gets everybody through the obstacles she's got an amazing way she spots where she's actually simulating which way to turn the steering wheel, how much to turn the steering wheel. So keep an eye on her as we go through this. She does a really good job. I learned a lot from spotting watching her this weekend. Becky here is driving a Jeep. She just got back. They had a lot of work done to it. So this is kind of a shakedown run. So they're on a shakedown run in John Bull. But she does a great job at it. And you can see here Wendy just spotting her through all the obstacles. Mike just got his lockers put in his, so he's getting to work them out a little bit while he's up here. This old and fat thing. Look at it. <laughs> I almost ate it a couple times trying to climb up these hills. Once again, they're a lot steeper than they look, and there is zero traction on that hill with the sand and the dirt mixture. And when you step on the rocks, just like most of the tires, you slide right off. As you can tell from all the sounds and all the big rock, skid plates are really not optional on this trail. I would advise if you go on it to at least put some under armor on that rig.
These guys have done a lot of testing up here on different tires, which work best. And they came to really like these Nex and Rodian tires. And they do a really good job getting through all these obstacles. I think just about anything is going to slip a little bit on some of these rocks. But for the most part, when they're aired down, they really go down, really good contact patch. Makes me think about when we, we change out the, the Patagonias to possibly go to the pair of these. They really did a great, good job when they were up there on, on all the rock. Most of these guys are running PSC steering. It really helps get up on these rocks. I know a few guys in our area has went to some of the hydro assist as well. Definitely something to look at. And that camera does an amazing job of making a very steep trail look flat. Most of this footage in this view almost looks like you're climbing up a just a flat plane with a bunch of rocks. But I'm going to bet you're somewhere in that 20 to 30 degree range somewhere in there, if not a little bit more. So you're trying to go up and over on, on a very steep grade. Cameras are great, but sometimes they don't portray the train very well. Somebody built this monument to all the pieces and parts that were broke off the vehicles on their way up the mountain. You can tell they got a pretty good sense of humor.
So we slowly crawl our way up the side of the mountain and eventually we are overlooking Johnson Valley where they have King of the Hammers and many other things. So this area is so rich with trails and scenery. I really can't wait to get back to see it again. Check out this amazing view as you get close to the top of the mountain. You can really oversee the valley and anywhere you look is just an amazing view. We stopped on top of the mountain and had lunch overlooking Johnson Valley. I didn't realize we was that close to it. And this gladiator was about the only rider as, as we were going through. We pretty much had the whole mountain to ourselves. Couldn't ask for a better time. Click on the video that pops up here and see more of our trip as we were in Big Bear, California. We'll see you on the next video. This is Jeeping Moe.